Hello, I'm Commander Exegius, and today we're going to be taking a tour of the HUD or Heads Up Display. While many of the items on your HUD are self-explanatory, we'll cover each section and feature to ensure you understand the wealth of information available to you. We'll start with likely the reason you're watching, how to change your HUD colors. While this isn't fully supported by Frontier, you can somewhat easily adjust the primary colors. Unfortunately, this implementation leaves much to be desired as it presents a number of visual oddities. These range from minor, such as Holomy images and ship skin examples being incorrect, to larger issues where enemies on your targeting scanner change from red to another color. After changing, it will take some time to adjust to the new colors. While the stock orange color is arguably good for night vision, to this gamer's eyes it isn't the best choice. It also doesn't work very well in virtual reality, where the image tends to bloom quite a bit, making text harder to read. Green is arguably the best choice for first generation VR, however, I find the crystal blue colors I use far more appealing. To change your HUD colors, head over to the excellent tool by Kimo Kulovsi, linked below. This tool will let you adjust the colors, being able to see real-time examples on screen. All the details necessary to complete the modification are detailed within the tool. Now let's take a look at the primary HUD. Starting in the top left, we have the communications panel. This is where you can send and read messages from others, or join or invite commanders to voice comms, wings, or multi-crew. Incoming mission updates and system messages, such as ship transfer completion, are also located here. The top right-hand corner is your information panel. Here you will see status messages such as contacts found and lost, bodies discovered, and likely most important, the class of the star you are charging to jump toward. The bottom left corner gives us information about our current location and objects that are targeted. Here we'll see our SOI, or Sphere of Influence, basically the part of the map where we're currently located. Most notably, we'll see the details of a body or ship that we have targeted. With ships, we can also scroll through and see the details of each individual module. This is where we would also check to see if a target is a power play enemy or is wanted. The bottom right-hand panel shows our ship status. Visual shield health, hull percentage, and fuel level are all displayed here. In our ship, this is where we'll see if we're being mass locked and our landing gear and cargo hatch state. In the SRV, we can also see if we're in the boarding zone under our ship to dock our SRV. Finally, in the center, we have our targeting scanner. This shows us all the bodies in the area from ships to planets and asteroids. Using the next and previous target keybinds, we can cycle through each ship on our scanner. Solid icons are NPCs, with hollow icons being human players. If you see a triangle icon, that means the player has deployed hard points. If they are in super cruise, it either means they have a discovery scanner or an interdictor. You'll also see the targeting reticle to the left of the scanner. This indicates the direction of the targeted body, with a hollow circle indicating the object is behind you. On our left, we have the navigation panel. On the navigation tab, we'll see all of the items in our current system, such as bodies, asteroid clusters, stations, etc., and systems that are within our single jump range. Transactions will show us any missions or community goals we're involved in, any unclaimed bounties or combat bonds, and any fines or bounties against us. Contacts will show all of the ships and materials in the area, with sub-targets showing us the modules and their health of a ship we have targeted. Inventory will show us any cargo or passengers in a ship once scanned with a manifest scanner. The right panel, or system panel, gives us information about our commander and ship. The status tab shows us our ranks and reputation with the superpowers and what, if any, factions were pledged to. The right panel of status can be scrolled through left to right, showing us system status, our finances, permits, and most interestingly, a plethora of statistics around our commander. How long you have played, how many rebuys you have paid, and what is your total distance traveled are just some of the interesting things you can learn here. The modules tab details each module, allowing us to set its power priority level, which we've covered in a previous video on screen now. You can also select a module to see its details, including engineering specifics. Fire Groups allows us to bind various weapons and modules to our fire buttons, with inventory detailing what we have in our ship. Cargo, refinery, and passenger cabin details 
and material and data levels are all here. Notably, this is where we can synthesize various items from weapon reloads to limpets and life support. The Functions tab allows us to change a number of settings for our ship, such as our wing beacon, landing gear state, turret fire mode, and the reporting of crimes. At the bottom of the list are two very useful tools, Reboot Repair and Self-Destruct. The latter is self-explanatory. Reboot Repair will bring a module damage to 0% back online at 1% health. In many cases, this will give you just enough to get you going again. For example, you can't dock with a station if your sensors are out, but repairing them to 1% will allow you to dock. This can also be used to bring your shields back online from offline to 50%, but note that during the process, your shields will be dropped if they were online. Finally, at the bottom right of the system panel are the tools for Galnet Audio and Text, the Holomy Editor, and Engineer and Galactic Power details. Each of these will open their respective tools. Lastly, we have the Roles panel that is bottom center at our feet. This panel gives you information about your current ship and who, if any, NPC pilots you have employed and active. This is where you deploy your ship launch fighters and give them orders. Deploy your SRV and see the details of commanders that have joined you in multi-crew, if you're one of the four or five commanders who actually uses multi-crew, that is. While there are many other screens in Elite Dangerous, notably the system and galaxy maps, this tutorial will stay limited to our in-ship HUD. Hopefully, this brief tutorial will help you come to grips with the vast amount of information available. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius, reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching. <laughs>